Should should we be hearing sound at the moment? No. We okay. Are, okay. Just making sure. Cool. We are recording. Greetings and salutations. I am the Raven. This is Avian Attorney. And joining me for this, or at least this episode, is J.K. Lantern. Friggin' birds. <laughs> Friggin' birds indeed. Star Princess, hey, Tilsi. Where's on hell in all of this? <laughs> the one responsible for this, in actually having, having actually gifted me the game, Sirot. Greetings and salutations. And that, and last but not least, Viola. Hello. I also have no idea what is happening. Yay! <laughs> so this is Aviary Attorney. It's a game very much in the style of Ace Attorney, but it takes place in um, post-revolutionary war France. Be um, That's coming. No, no, there, Francis has multiple revolutions, oh. so this is like the third one. This takes place shortly before like the second or third one. Is that Monsieur um, Gonwi? Or Mon Dior? Dame Catherine, what have you done? Act one. Meow. That's her claws. Meow. Sirot, you're this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's midday already. Where on earth is that featherhead? Yes, get ready for bird puns. Many, many oh, bird boy. puns. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird falcon? I said, you want to take falcon? Do, do you want me to take Falcon is the better question. Because, <laughs> you know, I want to do as little talking as possible because you need Svent's names. Yes. Okay. I can do Falcon. Mm. <laughs> Too early for worms. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. Wow, we're getting crunk early today. There'll be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. You say? Can you even read? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just more junk now. Go ahead, Sparrison. You may have the honors because you're illiterate. Shut up, because he's opening it with his beak. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I am writing to you today because my daughter, Dame Catterline, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. Oh, it really is like Ace Attorney, isn't it? <laughs> she is being held at La Concierge's prison on the charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days' time. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Seigneur Pertois. De meow of the de meow estate. My gosh. And cat puns. <laughs> many, many cat puns. This is why I don't want to really voice anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, this the is really just a flyer for the oil change place down the site, but you know, this is more exciting. <laughs> the art is actually inspired by a specific. Um, late 19th early 20th century artist i can't remember which one um they were french they were french obviously um and most of the music is uh because public domain is uh camille the work of camille Sansons, who uh some of you out there in internet land would probably know him best for carnival of the animals well this is quite interesting how did you read that I, this is... It's it's transcribed. Oh, I know your first serious client in months. <laughs> Not just that, the De Miao estate is well known for its exuberant wealth and catnip. 
Even if we cannot do much for Dame Caterline, his lordship would still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dame Caterline in court? Of you course! Really say no. I mean... It would be foolish to let a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Are our feathers opposable? Is that how this works? We're standing upright, don't question things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not an ornithologist, I'm a lawyer, damn it. <laughs> 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 Grab your coats, Harrison. We're going to find our kitty client at the Conciergerie. Concierge. Hey, V, guess what? I want you to voice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all this sitting around. Now I'm also trying to picture birds sitting in a. Now I'm trying to picture birds sitting in a chair, like a human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I better file away Senor de Meow's litter first. One moment, Falcon. I've got a trash can around here somewhere. But <laughs> 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 your letter has been added to your to your evidence folder. The trash can, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, the flipped trash can hasn't been invented yet. You may yeah, I know, we just invented it. You may access the evidence <laughs> folder at the time at any time by clicking the suitcase symbol. You know, if we have suitcases but not trash cans. Hmm. <laughs> ah, nearly forgot my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that, even though it's empty. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I recall you losing it at the New Year's party. And at Christmas. And That's why it's empty Even though now. that isn't a thing here. Somehow. <laughs> no need to make a list. But there's every need. There is every need. <laughs> to call you out on it. <laughs> you do start with a little bit of money. And, like, the money isn't hugely important until the last case. It gets you a few case. things easier. It makes one of the last cases much, much easier. Jeez. Autobots, <laughs> let's roll out. <laughs> we're, we're birds. Autobirds, let's roll out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Autobirds. Maximals. Roll out! Engage oh, beast boy. mode. <laughs> Maximize! <laughs> oh god, I love this game and we're already ruining it. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the map screen. From here you can travel to any area listed by clicking on a location name or location node. I just assumed that was a broken glass. Various marks of a clock, clock symbol take Take a whole day to visit areas where no symbol can be visited freely. Who's freely? Maybe that's Lance that we're trying First to free. initials IP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so you're the one who's been giving me those calls, haven't you? Maybe. <laughs> Falcon and Spouse and step into the stone cold foyer, the con concierge, whatever, prison. I don't speak French. Sun-faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Ah, oh, the conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France, because we're French. Who's the only prison? <laughs> the outer walls are impenetrable, the cells are spotless, the guards are well-mannered, the prisoners are dead. <laughs> the prisoners are dead. <laughs> all, all the men are strong, all the women are good looking, and all the children are above average. What do you want? <laughs> yes, I take, yes, yes. I've taken the crow. That's fair. <laughs> yep. Good day, Monsieur. I'm here to see Dame Catherine de Miao. I am due to represent her in court for some insane reason. Oh, you're hurt like that. 
Fine, fine. Follow me. Walk this way. Just walk this way. What are you waiting for? Keep up. They I don't actually have you. legs. <laughs> you don't actually have legs. Yeah, what we'll be. Okay. So you don't walk and <clears throat> hop. <sighs> My papa. Has he? Sound like you cut out there for, for a moment there. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> My papa hasn't forgotten about me. Has he? Damn void. Dame Catalane de Meow, I presume. You've arrived. The fantastic lawyer Monsieur Falcon and his petite assistant, Sarasen. Petite? <laughs> I already love this LP. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My lady is knowledgeable, except I'm not petite. <laughs> I am way taller than any normal sparrow should be. I'm classed as a medium creature, not a small. <laughs> but what about the small, medium, at large? <laughs> we don't have any psychics here, I don't think. I'm trying to remember, like, don't, 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 the, spare us in no, just no. no. But I'm not petite. <laughs> you, you, you are the small. You are the petite. I know where you sleep, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> You, you mean in the gutter? Yes, everybody knows I sleep in the gutter. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. My papa told me that he would only hire the best one. I swear to God, I'll get out of it. <laughs> I, I, I'm flattered. I'm certainly the best of the cheapest. <laughs> best of the cheapest? Cheap, cheap. <sighs> but they weren't available at such short notice. So he hired the first people in the address. <laughs> but I was on the list, damn it. <laughs> Hang on just one second. As soon as we got into this conversation, my cat started howling. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mentioned birds. Birds? <laughs> Is it lunchtime already? <laughs> God damn it, Blackjack! <laughs> you killed me in the guild engineering. <laughs> no. It was that was just well timed, cat. Well timed. <laughs> <laughs> Ra Raven Industries, we have fun here. Indeed. <laughs> Honestly, as the ownership of Raven Industries is, we are unknown. Has we bought up, been bought up by Star Industries? Uh, someone else done it, or has Pom stolen ownership along with all the dogs? We don't know anymore. Thank you, Patches. <laughs> Patches too. Oh no. <laughs> All I have is Chomp Lamp. Hello, Chomp Lamp. How are you today? <laughs> bork, bork, bork. <laughs> I mean, you got Rolf, say. Oh, yeah, but but he's way the heck over there. Um, <laughs> next to uh, next to Magikoopa and Sorcerer Mickey. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pizza Joe is guarding my TV. Fine. Don't you mean guarding their TV? <laughs> no. It, it really is Pizza Joe's TV. For all I know, he could be using it way more than I do, because I... Currently, it's there... It's just hooked up to various gaming consoles, so... You see, Falcon? I told you listing under aviary attorney would pay off. I have no idea how I knew that, but, you know. Let's get We're down, down to, to business. business. To defeat the... Oh. Wait. 
<laughs> Aunt Caterline, could you fill us in on some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. Also, my assistant is illiterate. <laughs> I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Oh, hmm, let me see. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Grenier, the home of Great Baron Lord Gale. I don't Sorry. <laughs> I got the it. The Baron Roger, got it. <laughs> <laughs> my papa spent all evening talking to Monsieur Grenier and Baron of his name. Business stuff? Metal Gear? <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> well, there's three of them on a railway car. So, all through dinner, we shared. I didn't really know. They like trains. I didn't know my dad was in this game. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. But after dinner, this man with a camera took a photograph. That was long. I was seeing spots for hours. Sorry, a man <laughs> with a what? Okay, who? I don't. I don't know what words are. What? What the hell are you talking what? about? Have any of these things been invented yet? For the love of God, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> very new gadget, actually. It's a little black box. I wonder if there's an imp inside of it. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny peach and paints a picture very fast. Damn it, I was kidding, game. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> in ten minutes. <sighs> You have a perfect picture. Well, sadly, the, the camera disappears. You need to buy a new one. Yeah, like that, actually. <laughs> wow, technology is amazing and very impractical. <laughs> I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrison. You see, bugs don't have thumbs, and thus they can't hold a paintbrush. <laughs> Let me believe... <laughs> Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Sparrowson, make a note of it! How? <laughs> <laughs> You're at the home with a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> And we threw the camera in the trash can. <laughs> well, it really just belongs there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't let bug. Just don't let the bug escape. Just we may don't need, let the bug we escape. Later. We may need the bug for lunch later. <laughs> Please continue, Dame Caterline. So after we had the photograph. I went into the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Grenier. He was all ripped open. A housemaid saw me standing over the foggy Monsieur and called for help. Then the police arrived. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm not gonna do it. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It's all such a blur. Why? Because I asked them what a purple purple push pop is. <laughs> There's a special place in hell for you, Lantern. <laughs> for, for me specifically. <laughs> there's a, it must... It's where Bob Saget actually is. There's, yes. <laughs> there's the summer max wing, there's the lantern wing. <laughs> they're they're right next to each other. <laughs> It, it must have been terrifying. 
Oh, um, it wasn't so bad. My papa taught me how to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Dame Caterline, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Hmm. Suspicious? Like, uh, maybe a guy lurking in the shadows, or a bloodied murder weapon, or like this cat squinting at people. <laughs> Monsieur Falcon, do you believe you're looking for me? Who, who wouldn't look for an easy answer? Yeah. If there's, an, if there's an easy answer, and it's right, then yes! <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm looking for an easy <laughs> answer. <laughs> I did not see anything. Got it, the perpetrator is blind. Duly noted. The defendant is blind, I should say. The evening was very normal. The food was delicious. The conversation was good. Again, dogs. Hmm. It was all very ordinary. Till the incident. I see. Wait! Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. What? You're... The... 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 You said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was. That is very important. This, this is because we haven't eaten in a week, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if you would work more cases, we could earn money. Welcome to part 300 of this LP series. <laughs> oh, let me see. We had poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Go on. You're not concerned that that's a bird that they're eating. Then a marbled steak served perfect, bloody rare. Glorious. Falcon, write this down, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you are going to have your half of a Kaiser roll with ketchup on it, and you are going to like it. <laughs> Again, I know where you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh Write it down, please, for me. But these foods don't exist. There is only Kaiser roll with ketchup. <laughs> I can dream, damn it. <laughs> Fine, fine. Fictitious steak, red herring. Red herring has been added to evidence falter. <laughs> Going right in the trash. This is a red herring. <laughs> it is not important. Or is it? <sighs> Bloody rare steak has been added to your evidence folder. The bin is getting rather stinky. And sticky. Oh. I got it. <laughs> Sparison, remind me not to let you to talk to clients. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Lance, this is you. We've, we've done it, everything we do. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you eat, man. But, but if, if I don't talk to the clients, how do we find out what foods exist? <laughs> There, there is only one food. <laughs> it is, it is Kaiser.
appetizer roll with ketchup. I object to that. It's highly objectionable. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> See, it's important. <laughs> You're a cat. Cats don't use silverware. You have claws. You you have pointy cat teeth. You're right. But shut up. Look, you're not the new marine. This is not rip and tear time. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, would that be one hell of a crossover. <laughs> No, um, you would think that the Great Baron of Chateau Premier was gorgeous silverware, but there was none to be seen. Hmm. Hmm. That is a glory, glory, how peculiar! <laughs> <laughs> I love this already. <laughs> the last time you went off this script, Dandelion was the blame. <laughs> and the sad thing is, I actually like this game. <laughs> Was there anything else you wanted to see what happened? Who was Dame Catterlane? Who attended the banquet that evening? Hmm. Well, there was my papa, my dearest man, who did make it. And there is Baron Rogier, who hosted the and his housemate, Colleen, she was called. Yes, now we have that in someone who's a voice. A voice doing this case. Wait, Colleen, it's it's Riona. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why that name no sounded familiar. <laughs> of course, there was also Monsieur Grinway. Well, until, you know died. Frogs. I mean, he croaked. Did you eat his legs? <laughs> and there was Monsieur Robicio to save Bobby. the camera, but he was only there for a little mm, Okay, Monsieur Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, got it. <laughs> I think that was all. Was there anything to ask? No, I think that will be all. So, what's the plan now, Falcon? Plan? <laughs> what plan? The way Wait, I see it... Plan? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crenier and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down this supposed photographer, Monsieur Rubitio de Rubinio. Two days for two tasks? Seems doable. But we should head back and get some rest first. We... We have to get these thoughts of fictitious foods out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first yeah. thing we've done all day, and it's only going back to rest. Totally. Oh, uh, wait, Monsieur Falcon, uh, before you go, you um, do believe my story, don't you? Which way do you want to go? I feel with the way we're going, we have to go with the middle one. <laughs> Justice involves other foods. <laughs> <laughs> Dame Caterleen? <clears throat> I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice! That's, um, good to hear. I don't think she's convinced. Sure. 
You're not wrong, Falcon, but that's not what the lady needed to hear. She needed to hear more about the food. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to work on being less of a... How to put it? Fil de pute. If serving justice makes me a fil de pute, then I'll wear that title proudly. Also, I'm not going to Google Translate real quick. What are you talking about? See, my mind so just went to worry about it. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> <laughs> Dame Catherine, Monsieur Greenway, Baron Rogil. Those names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Because they are the friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to have yeah, so many yeah. French people <laughs> shouting at me now. Go ahead, I deserve it. <laughs> we'll just sit down on you. Yeah. Not, not particularly. I, I don't think of people as names. I think of them as funny descriptions. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook and a cookbook so I can keep track of who everything and everyone is. <laughs> are, are you going to mix them up at some point? Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, we reached, oh, we reached a half-hour mark, so... Uh... So yes, this is the first episode of Avian Attorney. I have been the Raven. That puns. I should be the Landstar and Sirot. <laughs> we have fun here. Oh, we <laughs> have fun here. We have fun, <laughs> yes. So, yes, this has been part one. We got our first case in a while. So, uh, until next time, peace out, people. We're eating tonight! Bye-bye! <laughs>